But what we're looking at is an example of Italy. And uh, this is one way you could divide Italy. This is just an example again. Uh, so here we've got Italy and pre-Roman Italy, Roman Italy, and post-Roman Italy. And let's say we want to go look in at uh, Roman Italy in detail. You can see that same concept. I keep zooming in, and uh, you can there's further divisions there. And you can imagine we would offer many different interpretations of history. This is just one snapshot, one way of looking at it. So we've got early Rome, Roman Republic, and Roman Empire. And let's go in and look at the Roman Empire. This is going to showcase some fun things we can do with Zoom. Those little boxes are all statues, pictures of statues of the, of the various emperors. And we're going to look at the five good adoptive emperors. And check out Hadrian here. If you want to go look at him, you can go look at him as, <laughs> as close as you're comfortable getting to him. <laughs> And that's just the beginning. Um, we actually acquired some equipment that will help us take images greater than 1,000 megapixels. So this is an example. Um, I didn't zoom into it, but if I did, you could go look at a, an individual brick somewhere on that wall. 1,000 megapixels, hard to wrap your mind around again, but if you stick around afterwards, I can show you some of those images. So again, you, if I zoom out, you can see it's just a little, a little kind of small thing tucked away there in the Roman Empire, and you can go explore all sorts of places. This next example is kind of fun, too. Um, this is an example of what a PDF could look like embedded in ChronoZoom. First of all, you can see I'm very quickly diving into it. You know, if I was to send this to you, you know, and ask you to do this, it would take you to know, scroll through, download it, and all that, those kind of things. Here, I can pan smoothly through it. Even these complex graphs, which usually slow you down when you're reading a PDF, no problem. We can go into it. Everything remains sharp. It's fast. And if I look here, this was an example of what a GigaPan could look like. So this is before we acquired that equipment. Um, GSSP, that's a little marker on the ground. So if you had a 1,000 megapixel image, you could go down there and look at it. So I mean, this was before we got that equipment. But you can imagine, you can look in that great detail anywhere on this document. So that's what it's like looking at a PDF. But there's one more uh, fun thing that we could do with PDFs, and that is if we go into the references section here, uh, references are hard to follow up on because you have to open a new window, search it, you know, download that PDF, open it up in a new window. Um, it's just, you know, it kind of breaks your flow of, oh, I want to learn about that. So if you go into and look at this other paper by Walter here, and if we spy down there, and we keep zooming, Whoa. here's that entire paper in full resolution. Um, at your fingertips, no need for another window. You know what you want. Um, just go in and read it. It's the entire article. You can look at those maps, graphs, whatever you want, all at this uh, breakneck, breakthrough speed. And there it is, just like a little, little one sitting there in the corner. So now this example is not online, unfortunately, but everything else uh, you've seen so far is, is available 